Hello and welcome to this video, Create Your Own Online Teaching Resources. Now this video is the first in a series of videos which I'm going to show you how to um, begin from the very, very basics to get your own stuff up online. Now you may ask the question, why create your on own online resources? Well, the world is changing. Let's think now about how it used to be. <laughs> this is, I sound old, don't I? As teaching used to be, this is um, typical of what it used to be like. I, mean, I had a teacher, Mr. Van He, my maths teacher. He used to look just like this. He had a mortarboard, he wore a cloak. Um, and we used to use a lot of upfront teaching methods. That involved, obviously, using lots and lots of chalkboards. And so here we used to copy for hours from chalkboards, maps and geography and calculations and um, in maths and everything. So we used to use chalkboards a lot. And also we used these things called textbooks. We used textbooks an awful lot as well. This is how teaching used to be. How times have changed. We now have a younger people who are called the internet generation. All they've known is the internet and computing. It's always been there for them. So mobile phones. So communication is far, far more important these days than perhaps it used to be. We have mobile devices, and these mobile devices enable us very, very easily to type in a question, for example, to Google, and come up with the answer straight away. So our access to knowledge is almost instantaneous. And also, we're much more sociable. I don't know if that's necessarily the case, but the way in which we use social media obviously is a modern phenomena. Phenomena? Phenomena. We've got Facebook here and Twitter. So more important than ever to really engage with the online generation by developing our own online resources and the resources I'm particularly interested in as you probably guessed video but why actually go for video well a number of reasons first of all recent figures have shown that 91 percent of traffic will be video by 2014 what else well 3 billion views every day 800 million unique users visit YouTube each and every month what else? Well, users upload the equivalent of 240,000 full-length films every week. YouTube's demographic is 18 to 54 year olds. I actually object to that because I'm on the top end of that and I'm really into YouTube personally. What else? Well, videos are a great way to encourage participation in learning and I think producing videos can be a whole lot of fun. Now, as you said, YouTube is full of videos. Some are very, very good. Some are absolutely dire. And let's think. Well, if I just I put into Google, um, uh, into YouTube, sorry, factors affecting photosynthesis, and within a fraction of seconds, I got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of video suggestions as to what videos to watch for factors affecting photosynthesis. This one here looks really nice. Happens to be one of mine, but there we are. We won't dwell on that, shall we? Right, so I'm going to show you how to make a video. Similar to this one here, how to produce it, how to get it up on YouTube as the finished product. So what different sorts of videos are there? Well, first of all, there's this sort of video here where you yourself are the star. This is me, and this is called a full screen video. And so here you're talking to the camera. It's very much a sort of talking heads approach. This is great as long as you're confident talking to a camera, or if you're a teacher, you're probably confident talking to classes. Shouldn't be a problem. However, if you're less than confident, then you can use this other thing here, which is basic PowerPoint in which you narrate over the top of it, and I'll show you how we can achieve that. Lots and lots of my videos have this format because I find it better for teaching. So this is PowerPoint with narration. Now, you may not even be confident with talking, so in that case, you might have a PowerPoint without narration, and there are many, many videos on YouTube where the person simply puts the PowerPoint, flicks the slides, perhaps a bit of background music. Not good, not recommended, and not one I'd use. The fourth one is perhaps um, more complex, but also in many ways the best, which is picture in picture. So in this one here, you're combining this format of the talking head with this format, the narrated video. And you end up with something like this. So you've got your narrated PowerPoint here, and here's your talking head. And so this can do go and go hand in hand, and often few people feel more comfortable doing this sort of approach. Right, so let's think now about the format of this video series before we finish. In the next video, I'm going to show you what tools you have to have for the job in hand, i.e. producing a video. In the next video after that, we'll be looking at how we can actually plan our presentation. 
then we'll go on to look at how we can record our presentation and finally the best bit producing and uploading our presentation so that's the format of this series of videos I hope you're going to stick with me and go through these and promise you by the end of these you will have proficiency in getting your own material up online so thank you for listening thank you for watching and we'll be back again very soon so bye bye for now